Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Oh my God, I'm so honored. Oh my God, I'm so honored. Today's video is in partnership with Fenty Beauty, Rihanna's makeup brand. Hello. On the 26th of December, Fenty Beauty is coming out with a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes. And they are called Snap shadows. With these, you can mix and match and literally snap together your favorite palette combination. So let's say I have number six here. So let's say you're liking number six, all of these smoky tones. But you're like, excuse me, hi, number two right here needs to be added to that. I need to create my own mixture with that. All you have to do to combine your two favorite palettes is literally, look at it, it's gonna happen, snap them together. So on one side, you now have number six, or number two, and this is perfect for on the go. So Fenty Beauty asked me to be the one to introduce you to them in today's video. I am beyond honored that Fenty Beauty uh, trusts me enough to be the one to do this for you, and oh my God, guys, we're succeeding at life right now. <laughs> Today, I wanna create a fun holiday makeup look that is festive, glam, and totally Nikki. Um, and of course, um, you're on my channel, so you're in the mood for a Nikki glam, okay? If you were going for something natural, I, I don't think this is the channel for you. So if you're ready for a transformative holiday glam makeup tutorial, then keep on watching. All right, this face is in need of a whole lot of love because we have a new visitor in town. The zits are coming to town. Yeah, my face is just not having it today, so I'm gonna I'm a cover it all up with a whole lot of love and makeup. Of course, for the eyeshadow portion of this video uh, featuring Fenty, I will be using the Snap Shadows. There's eight palettes, six pans, every single palette. But before we get to all of that fun, it is time for the base. Because during this holiday season, ain't nobody got time to slack around. It is time for a beat. You could basically call this a full face using Fenty Beauty only, so if you've always wanted a full face of Fenty on my channel, today's that day, congrats. <laughs> so I'm first going in with this. I love this, as you can clearly see. This is the True Matte Primer. This will keep your makeup on until you take it off. I love using this for days where I truly wanna make sure that my complexion is matte and primed, and I use this mainly on the days where I want a super, super long lasting base. Now, if you have dry skin, like I tend to have like dry areas on my face, you wanna be a little bit careful with this. You kinda wanna pinpoint exactly where you apply this. You could apply this to just the oiliest part of your face, so like the T-zone or wherever, you get oily. <laughs> it is an incredible primer. It is so good, um, but just be mindful um, on where you place it when you have dry your skin. Once we're primed, it is time for a foundation. And uh, today, I am using this. I haven't tried this on my channel before. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation by Fenty Beauty. So the True Matte Primer is gonna ensure that a hydrating foundation is gonna last longer. So I'm gonna go in with the colors 140 and 130 and let's get to glamming, baby. So as you can see, the coverage on this foundation is a little less intense than what I usually gravitate towards. You know, people have been demanding for me to change it up a little bit more and not go full coverage every single damn video. So baby, it's here. Now it's time for concealer and I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty number 140. All right, once that is blended in like perfection, I'm not gonna set my face using the Pro Filter Loose Setting Powder in Butter. All right, my glow babies, I went off camera, did my brows, did one eye, and oh my God. I am living for this cut crease fantasy. It is about to get fierce up in here. So I was inspired, so this is what happened in my mind, okay? So there's a lot of things that happen when I try to come up with a look. So at first I wanted to do a look inspired by the queen, Rihanna. So then I came on to her makeup artist Instagram, who is Priscilla Ono, and Priscilla has been on my channel. She's done my makeup. I know Rihanna's makeup artist has done my face. And I, I came across this. 
I came across this right here. This is a look she did using the Trophy Wife collection. They came out with an entire Trophy Wife collection. That gold liner, okay, that gold liner is just winning at life. But then I wanted to change things up a little bit and make it a little bit different. And I have been getting so many tweets saying that you've been watching Glow Up. And Glow Up is a makeup competition show and I was a guest judge on it. So Glow Up, the one you're watching on Netflix, is based in the UK. But I also was a guest judge on Glow Up Norway. A very talented girl won that episode and her name is Malin. And Malin created this look right here, iconic. So I am combining Priscilla's Trophy Wife eyeliner look and mixing it up with this look by Malin and together it's a whole lot of Nikki. So let's get to it, shall we? So like I mentioned, Fenty Beauty is coming out with Snap Shadow eyeshadow palettes and the palettes I'm gonna be focusing on mainly today are number five and number one. This is what number one looks like, and every Snap Shadow palette has six very pigmented, very blendable, beautiful eyeshadows. This is number five, and together, this is gonna be today's color story. If you plan on traveling with these or taking them with you on the go, all you have to do is snap them together, and you have your own created palette in one. The first color I'm dipping into is from the number one Snap Shadow palette, and I'm taking this color right here. So there's going to be a whole lot of cut creasing going on later on. So what you want to keep in mind when placing these shadows is that you want to go higher up than you usually would. I have hooded eyes. Now, if you have hooded eyes, listen up. The number one problem people with hooded eyes tend to do is follow their natural crease. If I were to follow my natural crease, which is right there, the brown would be right here, and then as soon as I would cut my crease, everything would be gone. So I'm taking this brown very high up so that in the end, when I, ooh, drop my brush, in the end, as soon as I start cutting everything, it still shows. I think the number one magic trick you have to keep in mind when having hooded eyes is go up. All right, now using a more precise brush, I am determining where the sort of height of the wing needs to go. So the way I go about this is I place the brush on my lower lash line and then from there flick it up. And then of course you want the two to meet and come together in that point. Now this is the foundation of the shape that we're going for. Now of course you can go up higher, do exactly what fits your eye shape, but this is sort of the, the first step. Now what you wanna do is blend everything in that crease. You wanna keep this more clean and straight and fresh, but everything here can be blown out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that same brush and kind of tilting it like this slanted against the skin and we're just gonna scratch it on and we're just gonna diffuse that edge. All right, now I am hopping over to number five, the palette number five, and that is what that looks like. And I'm taking these two colors right here and I'm mixing them up and that is gonna be my transition color above all of this. And again, I'm approaching my eye this way. So I'm taking the brush up and I'm angling it against my skin like this, placing it flat against my eye and I just scratch from left to right and what that is gonna do is it's gonna make the brush do the blending for me. So it's gonna create the precision right here, but the hazy and fogginess at the top. Now I'm quickly gonna steal one shade from the number seven palette, and I'm taking this shimmering light gold, and that is gonna highlight my brow bone. Now I'm taking some of my Fenty Beauty concealer and I'm gonna cut the crease. Now again, remember, go higher up than you think you should. And with that brush, you basically just wanna stamp that concealer on. By stamping that concealer on, you're creating the perfect sharp shape. And I'm gonna set that into place using this shade from the number one palette. Oh, I swear, nothing is more satisfying than a perfectly cut crease. 
well, that and chocolate and other things. Okay, time to transform this into a holiday sleigh. I'm going in with the Trophy Wife Hyper Metallic Liquid Eyeliner. And using this, I'm just gonna frame the cut crease as well as the wing. For the lower lash line, I'm now going back in with this shade here and just smoking it out and leaving a little gap open for more Trophy Wife. All right, then quickly taking that brow bone highlight shade and also popping it on the inner corner. You see how that completely makes it holiday snatched? Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go off camera, pop a lash on, I'll be right back. To complete this holiday perfection, first let's warm up the face using Private Island Bronzer. Oh guys, I need to get something off my chest. I just went to Frozen 2 like a couple of days ago. That movie's so unexpectedly dark. I mean, I came to this theater to laugh and have a good old time. And in the meantime, this movie has me questioning my life. I mean, Olaf is worrying about growing old, about getting older, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I relate so much, Olaf. And when Olaf told us that turtles can breathe from their assholes, like, what? I'm now about to highlight using this Kilowatt Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crist Crystal. Don't fall, please. Woo! Now this right here is something that will shut Uncle Hank up at Christmas dinner. Ah, uh, yes, Uncle Hank, you wanna talk to me about the future? Guess not. To finish off the festivities on the face, I'm going in with this Mott Moiselle lipstick by Fenty Beauty. This is the color, nice and rusty. And the name is Freckle Fiesta. What I like about this color is that it is a Brick orange red. I'm loving everything about that. I mean, a classic red lip during the holidays is beautiful and classic, but it's been done so many times that I feel like this puts it in a new jacket and makes it a bit more modern and edgy. And that, guys, is a full face using Fenty Beauty only, plus using the brand new Snap Shadow palettes that will be available at Sephora and FentyBeauty.com. It honestly is a tremendous honor to be working with such a huge and inspiring brand like Fenty Beauty for today's video, and it wouldn't have happened without all of you. So my first thank you is to all of you watching for every little glow baby out there, for all my subscribers. Thank you so much for making magic happen. Happen. Definitely don't forget to show Malin and Priscilla some love because they were the inspiration behind this look. And other than that, I want to thank you so much for watching. Winter Wonder Week is very, very near. I have another video going up on Thursday. And then right after that, maybe it is the most wonderful week of the year. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, guys.